Welcome to Technogram, Reddington's podcast channel, where we talk to interesting individuals from the tech world and hear about their stories. Today we are in Nairobi from the Vertical Congress, hosted by Reddington, and we are joined by Rohan Patel, who is the sales director for Vertiv for East Africa. With 14 years at Vertiv, Rohan has led teams across India, Southeast Asia, and Africa. Based in Nairobi, he drives growth and innovations, working with customers, distributors, and partners across industries like telecom and data centers. Let's welcome Rohan and hear his story. Welcome, Rohan. Thank How are you, you? Janice. I'm good. How are you? And I'm good as well. Good. How has the event been so far? How's your the day? event has been really good. You know, I was very uh, amazed by the turnaround that uh, that has come here, and you know, the amount of people that uh, you have been able to put in a room. That's really astounding because you know, like it's not not very often that we get a lot of top level people together in, in, in a room. So it's really I would like to congratulate the whole Reddington team for organizing such a nice event. Thank you so much. And uh, you must have had a few breakout sessions as well. Yes, yes, yes. We had Which a couple the of verticals that you so were we focusing are, we, on. We, what are we speaking into? Uh, I spoke myself into the healthcare breakout session. Okay. And then there's another one for uh, education that, that we, uh, we will be speaking in. Right. And then, of course, you know, we are keeping the audience entertained also a bit with our raffles. And, you know, we are actually giving out some of the um, what if products, UPSS or uh, power strips that an individual can use the in the into their oh, home. Oh, I saw that. It's the spin the wheel that Votive yeah, is doing. That's right. Okay. That's yeah, right. that's. And then with our booth also, it has been a very, uh, very like amazing response there mm -hmm. because on our booth we have an actual demo of a very uh, like a flagship series of modular data center product called Smart Tile Three. We have an actual demo miniature of it, and then uh, it's something that what we do in all of our events and something that has gained really good traction is to have a virtual reality demo. That is also set up on our booth, you know, because that's uh, it's not usual that you know data centers being a high security zones. We can't take people into the data centers, but you know, yeah. people like to visualize how a big data center or a good data center look like. So, so we have implemented, like POCs or yeah. So we implemented technologies for uh, VR, uh, like augmented reality. It is like a full walkthrough of a data center, but you do it from from the Oculus glasses. Right. So that has been really also a key driver off footfall into our. I into saw our a lot of attendees really enjoying those uh, VR glasses. Yes, and yes, that's absolutely that's an. Absolute, I haven't tried it yet. Maybe yeah, you, should, you should try. You should <laughs> After try. our conversation, I could go. Hundred percent, you should try it. So, Rohan, can you tell us what is what is focus for East Africa? Okay, so what if uh, what if like what if or previously we were we were part of another larger corporate Emerson. Uh, Emerson. We we have been present in the market for more than two decades plus. Yes. But we were always uh, reactive and focusing only into the telecom segment because mm -hmm. telecom segment and the power systems into telecom remains one of our uh, key uh, areas in which we do business globally. Mm -hmm. So out of like as a listed company, the numbers are public, but you know about fifteen percent of our business uh, that happens uh, globally goes into the telecom segment. But in Africa or in specifically East Africa, the the ratio was something else. Okay majority of our business was coming from the telecom segments because of historic uh, contracts and also with uh, our relationship with the large uh, telecom operators yeah that has been all that has always been there but over the last five or six years our focus has been also into the enterprise segment and the regional business what uh, you know uh, in terms of our modular data centers in terms of power systems cooling the actual enterprises government healthcare uh, bfsi targeting those segment and you know focusing on uh, the actual modern data center solutions into that segment has been a really uh, sharp focus for for Vertiv. and uh, I would say with the with the products that that products that we have the partnership that we were able to do and you know uh, the 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 strong pre sales and service support that we have been able to set up and we have set up an office in Nairobi uh, uh, with that the market has been really well receptive for us. And I would say that you know we are we are currently enjoying a very good position in the market, and thanks to uh, all the partners and and customers uh, for this. And also, like you know, because our, our solutions and our uh, technologies are speaking for itself, so that's that's really well accepted by the market. Yes. So, Rohan, as you were talking, I was thinking that uh, you are in a region where um, unreliable or sometimes mm -hmm. in, intermittent power supply happens mm -hmm. quite a lot, and yes. that can probably be a precious thing. Yes. And you must be having a lot of stories around that. Is there any anecdote that you can share? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, you're right. Absolutely right. You know, power supplies, UPSS is something that we do as our uh, one of our main products. Yes. And then, of course, with UPSS, thermal management, racks, IT, and then we all put together. So, from an anecdote perspective, what, what I would like to say is uh, how how varied or how diverse is our portfolio, okay. and how diverse 
applications that we we have been able to do like you know i, I have an example one of my friend who is in nairobi okay and uh, he's an avid gamer you know he has a gaming chair big big on pcs and everything big screen on which he's always the doing the whole game. Yeah. setup and then uh, at one one day he called me that you know he's uh, when he's building had a generator but then when the generator was going off his his game was getting reset Inter yeah reset yeah like okay. you know something the network was reset and something and he needed a ups like he he called me and it's like what i can do i don't want to lose my uh, <laughs> okay. lose my traction into the game i'm going somewhere i'm about to kill someone and the power is gone and this thing <laughs> right. so 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 i said okay you know what you need to do is just get a ups for it and then uh, what we did is like just like you know just a ups for his just for his gaming pc and his wifi and everything that we did so that's that's something you know for his uh, like home household gamer like as a household gamer okay but at the same so time so Vertin has offerings even for yeah, we we have offering even for the smallest of the ups which okay. we gave some time back okay. so from being that and then he said you know why don't you play games and i said no I, i'm not into that but i i just told him that like you know uh, i never imagined this could be an application because the previous <laughs> other time is like now into a real challenging application and actually to keep the sky safe right. okay because everyone flies every day and pilot and sky safety is something very very critical for for the airlines so uh, one of the top leading airlines into the region yeah okay and when they have when they bring in new aircrafts okay now uh, you can't train a pilot on a new aircraft and just tell him that go fly right okay so and fly and go do a crash simulation or do a emergency simulation right. so one of the like from this gaming station and gaming chair the one of the other uh, use case use case which we saw and which i personally went to the site and saw and i was so fascinated mm -hmm. was an actual 787 uh, flight simulator so when 787 wow. came first into the region mm -hmm. and then those flight simulators is like an actual cockpit of 787 but instead of actually flying you are like in a big gaming zone it's like a vr gaming zone but it's a real aircraft real controls everything that they do so on that one also it's a so sophisticated equipment and so expensive okay because it has the whole controls of the aircraft like you know so that needed also a very reliable power system so right. we we did a survey with our partners and then you know like we audited the site and we required like we came out like what is the power supply is going to be required there so and, and we installed a 500 kva ups system on it so right from a 500 va for a desktop pc gaming and to a very big uh, flight simulation so it's not gaming it's actual saving the lives and an actual so pilot training it was training. crucial because the pilots needed to like they couldn't have uninterrupted yeah. practice yes and during also the training yeah uninterrupted practice plus also the without because of the power uh, reliability it's a very ex expensive piece of equipment right so if there's a power quality issue then that that thing cannot go down so mm -hmm. that's that's i think you know uh, i would say that you know targeting two kinds of applications interesting so these, these are like your not your mainstream use cases right yeah so okay. ma mainstream we still do data center and everything but yeah. ups as i mentioned ups and power backup is something that we do on 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 a, on okay. a daily basis so if you have to name one of your solutions which have which you believe has transformed data centers what would that be as in data center infrastructure right yes yeah so mm, we have a particular data center like you know an enterprise grade uh, data center solution physical infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, called vertif smart row okay. okay so vertif smart row is uh, basically a data center in a box okay but it's not one box it can be like we have something which is smart cabinet which is one box in a single rack you get power cooling fire okay. detection it's suppression like all play. of it it's like a plug and play right and uh, when we launched it a few years back like you know we used to call it call it like a refrigerator for a layman you know you open the door you put your equipment it cools same way you open the door you put your servers in this thing and it, it does the job okay so same way uh, smart row is something that what we have is a row of row of racks row of racks in row cooling electrical equipment ups fire suppression all put together mm -hmm. and it's a plug and play pre engineered solution so from uh, typical uh, server rooms or data centers which you are there in east africa or, or for the wider part of africa uh, and even in other developing markets from that to having a completely pre engineered pre configured highly efficient solution which is uh, which is cost effective also for the customers so that has really transformed the data center uh, business the smart row product and you know we were fortunate enough to uh, deploy it in several uh, several government and private institutions across Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, even Swaziland, uh, Ghana, all over. So that has really been, you know, transformative. And uh, if I have to say one of the best compliments that we have received for the product is not how beautiful it is now, how, how uh, efficient. energy efficient it is. Okay. One of the IT managers and the IT directors uh, from, from a big uh, government organization 
they, they after we deployed and it was running for a few months, they called us and said, look, you have given our, me and my team my, our weekends back. Oh, wow. Because in the previous times when they had a normal Issue, data yeah. center, they, they used to always be called by, oh, this is not working, this is not working, because it was a 24-7 application for a data center. But due to issues into power or cooling or whatever, right. they were always disrupted. But after deploying our solution and using it for a few months, they, they got the family time. Oh, that, 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 that was like you know a human touch to it. So like you know all the technologies are there, but this was something really yeah. precious for us. Wonderful. So if you had to advise your partners, how uh, what is the best way for them to build these data centers for their customers? Sure. So I think uh, having having uh, the the right identification of the current requirements of the customers, you know, from the IT usage and from the current IT equipment, plus but also taking into f uh, consideration the way the IT is being transformed from hyperconverged from uh, you know, uh, from high density or high performance computing to the wave of AI which is coming now. So you need to you need to design and develop a, a, a data center or a server room which is future ready. And it doesn't need to it doesn't mean that you know you have to invest so much onto a large power system or a large cooling system. But you can uh, look at the requirements and you know plan for something which is pay as you go, but but plug and play and future scalable. That's something I would I would say that you know, that really helps. Wonderful. Yeah. And I think partnerships, uh, your partnership with us, with, with Reddington, yes, with, uh, yes, with is probably enabling that sense of uh, training. So, and so, yes, so, so with, with our partnership with Reddington being, uh, you know, Reddington being the one of the, the key largest IT distributors and the alliances that you ought to have with the top IT system integrators, this is something which we, we, uh, we are already leveraging and we hope to leverage further across the region, you know, and work with the IT system integrators and our other IT alliance partners to uh, to develop uh, co-develop solutions and deploy uh, modern data centers across the continent. Perfect. Thank you so much, Rohan. This has been very interesting and getting to know Vertev even better. Thank you so much, Janice. Thank you.